Michelle here, Thrifting 101. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. Glad you're stopping in. I'm finally getting up uh, the first of two videos, and it's been a long time. This haul's been sitting on my table forever. I did want to mention that I've started a Patreon account. If uh, you love what I do, if you find any value in what I do, please click on the link below to uh, help me get up and running. I'm still filming off of my camera. Well, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, let's get started. So I picked this up at um, the Salvation Army a while ago. My friend Maddie, who is a manager there, she, she saw this come in and she kind of held it for me. So I was really happy to pick that up. She gave me a really good price on it. It is Pyrex Opalware, as you can see, in the Old Orchard pattern. It's a Cinderella bow, has the two spouts, making it the Cinderella bow. Dates from 1974 to 1978, Old Orchard does. It was designed by Estelle Rothstein. It is a one and a half pint four four one. I'm going to be listing it for probably only about eight dollars. I picked up this gorgeous vintage celery dish. I think I got it at the Goodwill. It's been so long. Things have been sitting that I'm not 100% uh, sure, but I'm pretty sure I picked it up at the Goodwill. I had never seen that back stamp before. Intrigued me and took it home. Found out the RS you see back on the back stamp stands for Reinhold, let me try and get this right, Schlegelmilch, something to that effect, Reinhold Schlegelmilch. It's German, it's hand painted, it's a nine and a quarter inch relish or celery dish. Uh, the Til Tillowitz factory, which exported pretty much 80% of its production to the U.S. market, uh, this is definitely a Tillowitz RS back stamp. I did verify that. And there are many repros of RS porcelain, but I did my research, and that back stamp is original, which dates this piece, I would say, somewhere between 1920 and 1944. I picked these up, um, I believe, at the June Bar Park, excuse me, thrift store. It's a charitable thrift store right here in Melbourne. And you can see they're both strawberries, but they're each a little bit different. That's because they're hand-painted under the glaze, which um, was something that Southern Pottery did. This is Blue Ridge Southern Pottery out of Irwin, Tennessee. They're nine and a quarter inch lunch plates in the wild strawberry pattern. And Blue Ridge is a brand of tableware that was manufactured by Southern Potteries. Southern Potteries was in business um, from the early 30s until 1957. Like I said, these are hand painted under the glaze. I think that was um, a technique that was actually introduced by Southern Potteries. And they closed in the 1950s as the popularity of plastic dinnerware was just too much for the company to compete with. And fun fact, by the 19 or the late 1940s, they had over a thousand workers and produced over 324,000 hand painted pieces a week. Make, which made it the largest hand-painted pottery company in the USA at the time. These gorgeous plates right here, they are nine and a quarter inch lunch plates. And this beautiful compote here was actually given to me by a friend who's moving and uh, didn't want to take them with her. So I said I would try and sell them for her. They were made by Tiffin or U.S. Glass Company between 1950 and 1962. And you can tell right here, they're often confused with Indiana glass because they made the same pattern and almost the same mold, but not quite. You can see the thumbprints right here are elongated. They're not round. That's what tells me that they are Tiffin and that they are not Indiana glass. So I have about, I think I have eight of these right here. I'm probably going to ask about $40 for the set, which I believe is a good price. I'm gonna move those over here. And I have the covered compote right here, which is an absolutely gorgeous condition. I can tell again that it's Tiffin because of the elongated um, marks right there. But another much easier or just as easy way to tell that it is Tiffin and not Indiana is on the bottom right here. You can see, although not marked, it has three mold lines or seams and not two. If it had two, I would have known it was Indiana. It has three, so I'm positive that this is Tiffin U.S. glass. Saw so this ceramic bank, beautiful little cow bank, Newt's bank. There's the stopper right there. And of course, there's the coin drop right there. At the June Park Thrift Store right here in Melbourne. It says right here, hand painted by Claire, so it's a pretty easy one. 
1992 out of Taiwan. It's really large, uh, stands about eight and a half inches tall and 11 and three quarters wide, and they sell for about $30. I picked up this beautiful three-armed candelabra in, I think, a new thrift store that I stopped in called Angels in the Attic. Great thrift store if you're ever up in Sun Tree. Just a beautiful store, clean and bright and really good deals. Anyway, this is Campo de Monte. I think I paid about $3 for it. I'm not really even sure. Campo de Monte porcelain is a special porcelain and it usually chips a lot here. I don't see any chips here. Maybe the slightest little bit of paint loss, but in this kind of condition, it's always worth picking up. In 1743, King Charles and Queen Maria founded the factory on the grounds of the palace of Campo de Monte right outside of Naples. Corningware right here, hard to find in the five quart square casserole size. This is Callaway or Callaway Ivy as it's known to a lot of people, 1995 to 2019. It does have a really smooth over chip somewhere on the lid, which I didn't notice when I picked it up. But like I said, these are pretty hard to find and the condition is really wonderful on this piece. So I'll be asking about $28. Thanks as always for watching. It's been a long time. I know I've been out of practice, but I appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget to like, share, most importantly, leave me a comment. And I am going to put my Patreon link on the bottom in the description box. If you like what I do, if you find any value in what I do, you might want to go over and check it out and help me out there. Again, thank you. Have a great day. We'll see you again real soon.